Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of The Blondest Podcast. My name is Savannah, and I'm your host. And my name is Tyler, and I'm your co-host. Oh my god. <laughs> I love that. So we are so excited to be home. We are back from Vegas. We went to IECSC, a.k.a. like the Aesthetician Olympics. Yeah, but that's what it felt like, <laughs> honestly. It was so fun, yeah. but so busy. So exhausting. It was Tyler's like first time seeing how hard I work at these conventions. Like I don't think he fully grasped. I don't think anyone, unless they're by my side through the entire thing, can fully grasp how busy I am and how like insane it is. Yeah, and I think like, you know, going into it, I was like, oh, this is going to be like a nice little vacation. Absolutely not. <laughs> like... <laughs> I think you need a vacation the week after Vegas because it's like, I mean, we're busy all the time. Club, another club, club. (laughs) What is that meme? I don't know. Oh, maybe I do know. Like a TikTok TikTok. sound. Yeah, Yeah, that's us. But it was just like starting at 10 a.m. every day, which obviously means like we have to get up at, you know, 7, 7 7.30, get ready make sure everything's in order with PowerPoints and everything for the day. And then it's just literally one thing after another, like a talk for a company, then a meet and greet, and then Savannah's talk through IACSC, then another talk for another company, then a demo. And then, you know, by then it's like 3 p.m., 4 p.m. And then we have to run back to the hotel, change, get ready for events or Mm -hmm. whatnot at night. And so... But it was my first time, like, really experiencing something like this because I had coincidentally planned a trip the same time last year, 2023, IACSC, New York. I was in New York at the same time. I was a shell of a human, so I don't count that. That was, like, my panic attack time. But I was only able to go in for one show, and I wore Lance's badge. Yeah, but it was, like, a studio stage talk, so it didn't, like, wasn't, like, a real class. Yeah, but, and then my... Real first time in Vegas in April, we were there just for one company. So it was so short that I feel like Mm -hmm. it wasn't like... And we got sick. Oh, I got sick as a dog. On his birthday too. Yeah, on my birthday. Like sweet baby angel Anne from Airlays. I love her to death. She literally flew out to Vegas just to treat me for my birthday and like got a dinner reservation, got show tickets Mm -hmm. and like literally probably at noon on my birthday like a wall hit me and I was down for the count and like that whole week after we got back I was so 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 sick but so I feel like that Vegas trip this okay Vegas June the one we just got back from ICSC was my real first experience and it's I have a newfound respect for Savannah because Mm -hmm. I think we're busy here but when we are at these shows when she's at these shows it is like crazy it's nonstop. And, like, it's hard to even walk the show floor because, and, like, I love people coming up to me, but it does get exhausting, like, day after day. Like, you don't even, like, have a break. It's, like, as soon as you finish speaking, you know, then I'm there to, like, meet everybody that took my class. And then the second I walk out, there's people waiting outside the classroom and then people stopping me, like, on the way to my next thing. So it's, like, I'm never not on. So having to be fully on and, like, presentable and, like, high energy for 12-hour-plus days is, like— so much yeah and honestly like i'm not a social media person and i'm not like you got some traction no i know everybody was obsessed (laughs) with tyler he's famous tyler is officially famous and so i was like on it and yesterday i got you trying to do his job and people were just coming up to him and they're like can you take a picture can you take a picture and like i have like my whole line of people taking pictures of me and then tyler starts to get a line of people wanting to take pictures with him it was really cute and just like so cool to see I know. And some it's it's crazy that like because obviously mine is like one percent of what you get. And I'm it's already like for me, like it's a lot of energy transfer that you have to Mm -hmm. do. And like, you know, I love it. It's so nice. And everyone is so sweet. And like, you know, it makes you feel really loved. But I just I don't know. I I would not be cut out for what you do. And I really like it's impressive because thank you, bestie. I don't know. It's just, it's a lot. So shall we go through our yeah. trip? Yeah. So, okay. We get there. I don't think anything weird happened during our flight. I feel like our flight was like pretty chill. Yeah. That I can remember, right? Like there was no, no. nothing weird. I don't think so. No. I mean, they like, okay. One thing weird is that American completely like 
I Screwed wanted up our to. Tickets. Yeah. <laughs> so basically, me, Savannah, and Maria, her personal assistant, were all supposed to go together. But then Maria had something come up, so she had to fly in on the first day of the convention. Conference? Convention? I don't know. <laughs> it's like a co- c- convention. 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 Yeah, okay. Um, or a convention conference. It can be in con... I don't know. It's a hybrid. So, like, say we had seats 14A, B, and C. That was what we had booked. And Maria had to change her ticket to Saturday instead of Wednesday when we originally got there. And that... For whatever reason, like she did that and it was all fine. And the day before, two days before, the day before, something like that, I go to just, you know, I'm doing crossing my T's, dotting my I's, making sure everything's good. I go to look at her ticket reservation. And for some reason, Savannah and I are now like 14A and 14F. Mm -hmm. And so like we're like separated. At birth. (laughs) At birth, basically. (laughs) And... So I'm like, I call American and they're like, there's nothing that can be done. Like, blah, 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 blah. Sometimes like this happens. I was like, I have our original confirmation. We had seats together. Like one person changing the date of their flight shouldn't just separate yeah. our seats. It makes no sense. And they were like, well, it can disturb Wait, the reservation. Wait, what did we end up doing? I, 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 I literally, everyone thinks I have a good memory. My brain like can only think seven days. I only remember seven days like that happened before and then it like cleans a slate it's like a what is it like a squirrel they only remember like a full day and then their memories erased i never knew that but That's kind of sad i know like i literally like don't remember any of this i'm like was i on drugs no so i just kept I think on i just have too much to think about that like insignificant things like that just flood yeah. out of my head well savannah had paid like obviously bought the ticket, our flight tickets, and they were in main cabin extra. So like, oh, more we ended seats. up at the emergency seats, right? No, we, we sl- sat at the front row, like where oh, the bulkhead yeah. was. But honestly, it was nice because the seats in front of us were still there, so we could put our stuff down. Yeah, like normally in those planes, like you have to put your, your stuff purse. Out. Yeah, but what happened was I kept checking back and back and back again to make like see if any seats opened up, and like finally some did. So I got us together. Slide. But it was a good flight. We got off the flight and then we went to our hotel and we ended up upgrading actually because our room wasn't ready and the upgrade was super cheap. It was like $200, but we had this like massive conference room. It was huge, like crazy. Like I could have literally held a seminar in there. It was it like was a big. small one, like yeah. a like 30 person seminar yeah. or like a party. Yeah. They had like no, a bar, sure. like for like a bartender. And like, it was just like, it was the biggest room I think I've ever stayed in. Actually, no, Grand Hotel Tremezzo, Italy was probably the biggest, but yeah, that this was, was really huge. cool. But the weird thing, it only had one king bed and I was like, want to sleep alone. I sleep with Maria usually on trips, but like, I don't know. I just wanted, I wanted the bed to myself. I was just feeling like. It was a lot for me and like I'm around people all day. Like I felt like I just really needed to like decompress. So they're like, oh, we can bring in like two beds. And I made a makeshift bed for Tyler in the wet bar and he was like dogging it, thought it was like the stupidest thing and then ended up loving it. I did end up loving it because it felt like a room. I told you I'm innovative as fuck. (laughs) But and I blew that man's mind. The guy that brought the thing up, he he was was like, I've worked here for 28 years and no one's ever tried to put it in here. And he's like, I now know he's like, you are so smart and innovative. And I was like, thank you. Well, Maria was making fun of me because when she got there, like her cot was in the living room. Yeah. Yeah. In like the living area. And so in the living area, you can see directly into the bar. So like when we would all go to bed at night, she would see me walk into the little bar, close my door, and then she would just see me pop out and she would always be like, why the fuck are you closing the door? Like you're exposed. And I was like, okay, but if someone walks in, like if someone breaks into this hotel room, they're just going to see a door to their left. They're going to go straight to you. So yeah, I'm thinking ahead. And like when you're laying down, you can't see. So That's like true. It's like it's an empty bar from it the is. outside. Y'all would be and I'd be sleeping sound it's fine (laughs) your life would suck if i was dead oh yeah no that would be really bad so you probably wish you died with me yeah you would um and then we went out we went to mizumi which was really good the salad we got at mizumi if y'all ever go is delicious i cannot remember the name of it but it's like has like ginger soy dressing it was just it was so good and we got the best seat in the house and i got to see all the little koi fish i'm obsessed with koi fish 
My husband will not let me get a koi fish pond, though, because he thinks that they're high maintenance and he hates me and wants me to be depressed and miserable. So my only thing is, is an outdoor like I just don't. Can they survive? They can survive. It's so hot here. It's okay. We can put ice cubes in it. (laughs) So they are high maintenance. (laughs) They're really not. They're not that bad. They're so pretty. I fucking love koi fish. I love all kinds of fish. You guys know this. I'm like a fishy girl. I love fish. I don't smell fishy, but I like fishies. I don't don't eat them. I don't smell like them, but I love them. I like to look at them. Yeah. They're so pretty. And there was one that was like so sparkly and it was just so stunning, gorgeous, beautiful, amazing. Like I almost, if I had like another drink in me, I probably would have taken it. Yeah. And done what with it? (laughs) Made it my child. Like filled up the sink. I don't know. I would have figured it out. Okay. Express shipped it back to my house. And then what's Lance going to do? You know, like it's here. Figure it <laughs> out. Um, And we went to the sphere, which I will never go back to because, OK, I thought it was going to be a lot different. It was just like very strange because it was like giving National Geographic for the first while and then it was like our Earth's dying and like took like a very dark turn and like, yeah, the Earth is dying. But then they're talking about like basically shading us Americans for like building these big buildings and like all these things which like yeah I agree like it sucks but then they built a multi-billion dollar ball that we're watching this video in so I was like the math ain't math and like (laughs) you know the pot calling the kettle black here yeah so it was just like weird it was like why are you doing that when you like literally spent billions of dollars that you could use to like clean up the environment and like donate to charities that stop people from cutting trees down but instead you built a big ball to tell us that the earth is dying yeah and it was freezing yeah savannah i hate being cold runs cold naturally already and it's like a 4d experience so like when the wind would blow on the screen it would like i can't even describe how strong the wind gusts that they would blow at you in there were i literally was like this no savannah was dying and we left early because i was like fuck all of this yeah honestly <laughs> Um, so no, I would not go back. Was it cool? Yeah. Would I go again? Absolutely not. Um, so that's that. And then we were exhausted and we went home. Next day we got up, we had massages, which were literally the best massages we've ever had in both of our entire lives. Like it was so The amazing. Encore Spa. So, so good. good. I don't know what type of crack those masseuses are. And I love when people rub my butt. Like so many places I feel like are scared to like massage your butt because they don't want to catch a car like a charge or like yeah. a sexual allegation case. But the only times I've ever had my like butt massaged was in Italy with that one man who was also that would be my second best massage. Remember that man that mm-hmm. did like them on for me and Lance on yeah. the so strong. Great massage. And then this lady got all up in my hips because I feel like a lot of like that pain that you hold in your butt and hip area like really does stem from like the cheeks and so like you got to get in there yeah and if you're missing that you're missing like a whole area and like I didn't realize how like sore my like butt gets like it does like I hold I think stress in my ass (laughs) pain in my ass always um so really good massage and then after that we went to the pool um we went to a (laughs) European pool and there were some topless people I did not do that or partake in that because, first of all, there's nothing to see. <laughs> I'm flat Stanley. Um, but second is obviously like just, you know, I didn't know who was going to be there. And my husband wasn't there. And I just didn't have a desire to have, yeah. not have a shirt on. But there were some women without shirts on. This one lady had the most beautiful breast I think I've ever seen in my entire life. And they're all natural. She slayed. She was so confident and like honestly no she was beautiful. so confident i loved her she had a bud light in one hand and was just take them out no, take your she, tits out she was she was iconic she no really she was, was like literally could give a fuck yeah. like it was just like she was having a good time she was having a great time yeah. and i was like you know what like amen i know i wish i had her confidence no for real i strive to have her confidence i will never stop thinking about her <laughs> i mean neither i don't think i don't remember th- everything after seven days but i'll remember her for life <laughs> <laughs> um and then it was hot as shit it was brutal and like the worst part is is like in vegas during this time of the year the breeze isn't even a breeze it's just like a dragon like opening its mouth yeah, it's and like, like blowing hot air at you it's just hot air <laughs> like a hot air balloon and like 
call us pretentious, call us whatever, but like public pools aren't our thing. No, I'm not trying to get gonorrhea. I'm like I don't, I don't like a public pool. Like Mm-mm. anytime a friend who I have lives in an apartment complex, like and ask me to come over and swim at their pool, I'm like, absolutely not. I'm so sorry. It's yeah, not just happening too many today. people and too many germs and like people are just gross. Like it's that's the thing is like I think you should legally be required to like get hosed down. Yeah. Or, like, take a bleach bath before you're allowed into a public area, you know? And to me, like, I feel like a pool is also, like, a relaxing space for me. And so, like, at, like, public pools and stuff, like, there's always, like, loud music and people, mm-hmm. like, yelling. And, and like, it's, like, like, rowdy and, like, drinking. With, like, crust and, like, and crustiness or just, like... <laughs> so, I, I don't know. Sweat and just, like, dirtiness. Like, I don't know. I just don't want to... Mm-mm. Yeah, so... Bodies of water sh- are not meant for multiple people. Okay. Except yeah. the ocean. I was about to say. Like, but the ocean doesn't count. But yeah, our primary goal of going to the pool was to tan, but like without like being able to get into the water comfortably. Because like when you're tanning in that type of like heat, you need to be able to like take a dip in we weren't between. Tanning. We were trying to get like a little bit of sun. Okay. We weren't like yeah. bathing in the sun. No, we weren't bathing in the sun. We and trying- I hate bathing. Yeah. You can ask Savannah. I'm like horrible. Like when we were in Italy, she was like Babe, you, we've been here for two and a half weeks and mm-hmm. you look like a ghost still. Like something's wrong and I'm like <laughs> hiding from the sun all the time. And as long as you have sunscreen on, like, you know, people, uh, so many estheticians, like obviously I'm not going to lay out and just like bake in the sun for no reason. But like if I'm doing activities, I'm playing with my son or I'm like swimming, like I'm yeah. going to get sun and I have sunscreen on and that's okay. But yeah, so we did that. Then what did we do that night? That night, then we went to Super Freco. Yeah. We went to Super Freco. The best salad I've ever had in my entire life. The baby gym lettuce salad. Fucking amazing. And the worst entrees we've had in our entire yeah, the, life. Just go for the salad yeah, and the a, drinks. Yeah, be, have a skinny night out. Well, it was definitely not a skinny salad. It was, honestly, the salad probably had more calories than our meals. Probably, but it, worth it. But so good. And then after that, did we just go home? No, after we sh- went out with... Angel. Oh, yeah. We went out with Angel. And I was having fun. I wish we, like, went out out that night because I was feeling it. I was feeling good. But the next day, did I... No, we didn't have anything the next day, but I think we were just exhausted. Yeah. Because we were out by the pool and then dinner. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, when you're in a massage and then a pool and then out in the heat and then it's you have dinner. Day. Yeah, it was a long day. Yeah. And but it was a fun day. It was a fun day. Yeah. And then the next day, what did we do? We went, to, went the to the pool. We went to the Encore Beach Club. Yeah, which I we were like we didn't pay for like a section or anything, so we could only go for a couple hours because we had a really really early dinner that night because we had a show that was early too, and then I just needed to get sleep because the next day the conference started. So like we went and like it's just like not fun if it's just two people, you know. Yeah. I feel like you need like a big group of people or like if you're single, like I could see it being like really fun if you're single and like get invited to like, you know, sections with like rich men or like, you know, <laughs> that kind of thing. But like as a married woman with my best friend, like yeah. I just wasn't like the vibes. Like it's very much like gives hookup culture. Like people are going to like meet people yeah. and like party and like invite like all the hot young girls like to their section or like bachelorette mm-hmm. parties and bachelor party hype like mashups like sweet life on deck with hannah montana collab okay like, that's what it was giving was like bachelor bachelorette yeah i feel together. that and so it was like okay but the worst part about it first of all hot as shit and then like that pool is even more sketchy and they have like signs it's like if you have like open sores don't go in if you've had diarrhea within two weeks don't go in and so um it was just crazy and then they also confiscated my chomps which was like really fucked up and really upsetting but it's fine. Um, and it was just, it was hot. And then like, you couldn't eat anything because it looked like they didn't have food unless you had a section. And like the section was like $7,000 and like, nar. Yeah. Like I could understand it if you had like 14 friends and like everyone paid like $500. And you're going to be there all day. And you're going to be there all day. Like yeah. for sure. It was two of us and we were there for like, we had like two no, hours. So we just like yeah. sat in the like little peasant. <laughs> little booth. <laughs> They're not even a booth. Like, I don't know what it is. I don't know what it was. So we did that. We people watched. It was really interesting to people watch. Yeah. And then... We went to Den Tai Fung, which is now my new favorite restaurant. Sorry, Midia. Really? Really. A hundred percent. One thousand percent. Like That's a shocker to me. No, like 
Den Tai Fung till I die. It's really good. Oh my god. Like it's you're if you want to be disappointed about any other Chinese Asian food you eat for the rest <laughs> of your life, go there. Because then you're gonna come back home and you're gonna realize that everything else like fucking sucks. Yeah, and I think like part of why it was extra good was because so we had a early like our show was at seven PM, so we had dinner at five. Mm-hmm. And normally we're not eating. I feel like we didn't eat most of the day because we, we were super excited mm-hmm. for Din Tai Fung. We're like, and we then need to be also, ravished because we're yeah. ordering the entire fucking menu. And so it literally yeah. was everything and more. No, Their like, soup dumplings. So good. <laughs> it was so good that we like canceled our reservations for another place and went back like a day yeah. later. No. Like, I will dream about that place. Like, next year, we'll probably, if you want to see us at dinner, we'll probably be there every night. Every night. night. No, <laughs> so. literally every night. I would say, like, the two closest things to an orgasm that I've ever experienced is cold globes with a lipid mask. Okay. And the first bite of the soup dumpling. Yeah. That's completely like, fair. Like, those were, like, peaks of my life. Like, and, those two moments. And you didn't eat them, but the chocolate... Dessert oh, dumplings were so <laughs> There's good. No way I, could. I, I was like going to throw up too, and I couldn't. I I'm a savory girl. I like salty. I don't really care for sweet. I like both. I like both I'm together. More of a salty girl for sure. But yeah, you guys got to go. Then, Din Tai Fung. I tried to learn how to use. I'm really good at picking up the dumplings with the chopstick, but I could not do the wonton. So Tyler tried to show me, and these like bitches behind us were like, remember, judging yeah. me, which we didn't even know until I posted it on Instagram. And then a bunch of my followers were like, this lady's judging you in the back. And I was like, oh yeah, she totally was. And she was white. And she wasn't using chopsticks. She was using a fork. <laughs> of course. And then Tyler um, bumped himself down on the list of my favorite people on earth because he left my camera at the restaurant while we were on our way to the show. And I was like, in the car, I was like, do you have my camera? And he's like, uh, no. And then this driver, guys, okay, we had really good people, taxi mans, the whole time. The whole time. The one time we need this man to like actually just like fucking drive. Like book it. Book it. Yeah. This man is so slow. So slow. So then anyways, Tyler drops him off at the show. He misses like the first 30. 30-ish minutes. Um, but it was actually really not great. I've seen a lot of Circus LA shows. So I think I have high expectations for Vegas shows. And I thought it was going to give Circus LA, but it didn't. It was just like, it was weird. Like it was entertaining and like, it was like cool to see like something different, but I wouldn't go back. It was a very interesting storyline. Yeah. Tyler thinks it was like giving Debbie Ryan. Oh no. The the main, the main girl, the one who has to collect all the shit or whatever. Don't ruin it for people. But you find that out at the beginning. Do you? She has to collect the things. Yeah. She has to collect these little crystals. Yeah. That's she... I swear to God, I thought Debbie Ryan fell off and like was not working at a Vegas show. Like I was convinced it was Debbie Ryan. I don't know why, but like, and it, well, the, just the way they talked, like their acting manneris, mannerisms, was giving Disney. It was so Disney core. Yeah. Like, <laughs> it was so Disney coded for sure. But it was okay. So then after that, we went back to the hotel room. I think we just called it a night. Oh wait, no, we went and met up with Cecilia, Jess, oh, and Kara. Oh, that's right. That wasn't on our itinerary. Some of my so. friends <laughs> from the SD industry, and we went and talked to them for a bit, and then we went to the room, went to bed, and then the next day was the show. And yeah, I was really good. I don't know what happened to me, but I don't have anxiety anymore speaking, and I'm really happy about that. So proud of you. It was really good. It was a really, really, really good first day. Um, we met with a company there that we may be bringing on at SBA. I'm mm-hmm. really excited. They were really sweet. Um, it's still in the testing phases though, so I can't tell y'all too much. But yeah, all the speaking went great. I got to meet everybody. <coughs> and then that night we... Oh, that night was all of the events. So then yeah. that night was the facialty event, um, which I didn't have to speak at. So I tried to make like a little appearance. And then we went to my event that airlays through an entire in- event for me, um, which was crazy. I'm just so special. Like it was such a good time. It was so much fun. I was DJing a little bit. Um, I love DJing, even though I don't really DJ. I just like pretend to DJ and dance, but it feels so powerful to be behind yeah. the DJ booth. You love it. I love DJing. Or really, I don't like DJing. I just like telling the DJ what to play. <laughs> like, I'm not fair. mixing things. I just like to be back there and be like, no, this is the song we need to hear next. Because Tyler will tell you, I know what the people want. She does. I, if I could learn how to DJ, honestly, it could be 
a second career for me because I know what the people want. No, like I, we went out for New Year's, um, this restaurant in Dallas Monarch, and there's a little like cocktail lounge mm-hmm. above Monarch called. Don't know. Catbird? No. No. Komodo? Um, no. <laughs> It'll come to me. I don't know. Um, but so they had like a little pairing thing where you could eat dinner and then go up to like the dance floor and it has views of like the reunion tower and everything. It has like 360 views of downtown Dallas. So you can see all the fireworks. And the whole entire night, Savannah was mm-hmm. talking to this DJ trying to get him to play like certain songs <laughs> because the crowd was like, people were having fun, but it wasn't like, Lit. As much fun as they yeah. have. Like, it was, was kind of just like, like sweet care. <laughs> and I was like, okay. I was like, you need to play Fuck the Club up, Nicki Minaj. And he was like, no. Mm. And I was like, I'm telling you, like, please play it. And so then, like, the very last song, they turn the all lights the lights on. Yeah, he turns all the lights on, plays it. Everyone that was like starting to walk out runs back to the dance floor and it gets <laughs> so crazy. And he looks at me. I make eye contact. I'm like, I fucking told you. Yeah, like, like, dumbass. <laughs> so she knows how to pump up the party for sure i know what the people want to hear but erily's event was so fun savannah literally extended it two hours because i was just talking to everybody and it was so fun to meet everyone and just like usually when i'm at events it's like a ton of people and this one was more intimate because it was vip only so um you had to get invited by erily's to go wasn't my guest list but um I just got like one-on-one time and like really Mm -hmm. got to connect and like learn about people. And it was really cool. We actually made our, met our like doppelgangers or like us in another universe. So I met this esthetician who her best friend, um, well was a client and is now like her, you know, best friend. And then I'm like, okay, that's crazy because that's what Tyler is to me. And then her personal assistant was named Maria and my personal assistant's named Maria. So it was just like crazy. Um, and we took pictures with them. They were so cute. It was amazing. It was a really good time. And then we went to bed and then the next day got up and did the whole show again. Um, It was just as busy as the first day. Yep. And then we did, where'd we eat that night? Oh, we went, oh, this was the night I cried. It was a very, (laughs) it was a very exhausting. Two days. Two days. I mean, honestly, ever since we got to Vegas, we were go, go, go. Like even without like taking out the convention, the convention's very like socially draining for you, but the whole trip up until that point. And you're walking and like, I'm talking, I'm smiling, I'm in photos. Like it's just, it was so much. So like, it just been like, it'd been a lot. It'd been a lot. And like a girl was tired and like, I was just ready. I'm out of every place other than Din Tai Fung, I was so excited to go to Delilah's because it's so hard to get into. And like, I didn't think we'd get reservations and like we got it to work and like, it was just exciting. We were going to dinner with Sean and his wife from Skin Butter and like, it was just going to be fun. I like felt super pretty. Like I like loved my dress. I just felt cute and I was ready to take like some cute pics and like, you know, just girl things. And (laughs) I'm just a girl. I'm going to start crying again. This like, I have never been so mad. Yeah. No, like he made me so mad guys. And I don't get mad very, like it takes me a lot to like get like upset, very upset because, okay. So I showed, he's like, I need to see all your IDs. And I made a comment. I was like, Oh, like it's, I know it was like a club. And he was like, no, it's like 21 and up after seven. I was like, okay, cool. So I handed my ID and he like looks at it. He looks at me, he looks at it. And then he looks at me and he was like, do you have any other IDs? And I was like, he said, or he said like, this isn't you. And I was like, I thought he was like kind of flirting with me or like trying to joke no. with me. So I was like kind of like just like joking back. I was like, oh, ha, ha. like, no, that was me. I was 18. Um, and he's like, no, like, I'm serious. Like, I'm not letting you in. And I'm like. Oh, well, that's me. Yeah. <laughs> in the flesh. Like- and then he was like, pull up your phone and go to your settings and show me your like Apple settings. And so I did. And it says Savannah Boda, 921, 1997, because that's me bitch and (laughs) he's like no and then i was like and they're like why fucking do that yeah why ask for you to pull up to make sure it because it in personal information it tells you your full name and your birthday yeah and your eyes so he showed him my whole government name and he was like no and i was like why i literally was like why did you ask her to pull that up and then he was like can you You open up social media he was like do you have your passport do you have like i'm like no but i have the same photo on my passport so i was like i've literally flown to italy i've flown to the uk i've gone to anguilla i've gone so many places with this exact same photo man like like TSA has never been like. He's this like your lips you. don't look the same, your chin doesn't look the same, and I'm like, no shit, like, dude. It's 2024. My fucking filler, <laughs> freak. And 
And anyway, so I start getting like upset. Like I'm like yelling, not yelling, but I'm raised my voice and I'm like, do you want to see? Here's me fat. Here's me skinny. Here's me pregnant. And I'm like showing him every version of myself. And I'm like, I don't know what to tell you, dude, but it's me. And I was like, go get your manager. I'm not talking to you. Like go get your manager. And then his manager comes. He was like, I can see it. And he lets me in. And then like all of a sudden just waterfall tears. And I go to the bathroom. I just cry. I just cry and cry and cry. Cause I'm just, it just like one thing it'd be like, if it was a fake ID, cause I definitely had fake IDs in the past and like, totally like, you know, if someone took it, like how mad are you going to get? Like, it's not you, like, you know, you got caught, like it's annoying, but like, yeah. but when it's legitimately you and you are like fighting to prove that it's you, like, it almost feels like you're in one of those shows where like someone steals your like identity yeah, and like, you know, and then they're like trying to pretend to be you and you're like, it's me. And they're yeah. like, we don't believe you. And then they like think the other person's actually you like that is how I felt. And it was just like, how do I prove something when it's like legit me, babe? Like, I don't, this is my government ID. So anyways, I'm getting my ID changed um, just because I'm never going through that again. But it like ruined my night, like for reals. Like I, after that, like, cause crying is also very draining. And so I was tired and then I got like a second wind of energy and then I cried and then I was like ready to go the fuck to sleep. And then the next day I went to the show. I had one talk. We went to shop for, for, for some perfume. I got Herba Pura, which is my new favorite scent ever. I love it. And I actually had ordered a $5 sample on luckyscent.com, which came in yesterday to the spa because I wouldn't want to buy a full bottle before I smelled it. Mm -hmm. um, and then I ended up getting a full bottle anyway. So mm -hmm. I wasted like $15 on fucking shipping. Is that the blue one? Yeah. So good. It's so good. So, so, so It's so like good. the new Baccarat. It doesn't smell anything like Baccarat, but it's like going to be like that it icon level. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, for sure. Um, and... That was then we legit. had dinner with Anne that we went back to Din Tai Fung. We had a reservation at this Italian restaurant and then we switched it to another Italian restaurant and then we had Din Tai Fung and then we switched it to Din Tai Fung. Yeah. And Anne pulled through because... Yeah, they were booked. Yeah. And somehow Anne being Anne. Anne's a queen. She is. And yeah, that was our last thing. We went to Din Tai Fung. Savannah was like... Let's go out. We were like, babe, we have to be at the airport at like 545. <laughs> I know. I'm really sad. I really, I feel like, well, I, w I wouldn't want to really go out in Dallas. Not that like I'm famous by any means, but people n know of me. And no, they do know of you because the past four times I have been to Dallas, even yesterday, like people stopped me. And yeah. like I was on a date in Dallas at Catbird and like two different people came up to me. So like. Yeah. It can't happen. Yeah, it's... I can't be... In, I just want to, like, go somewhere that nobody knows who I am and just, like, dance and, like, be able to, like, just be free. and Good not Because, like, even New Year's, remember? I, like, felt like I couldn't even, like... I was so sober. And you and Marlo, Brian <laughs> and Lance were just so drunk, having so much fun. And, like, everyone, like, kept coming up to me and was like, I'm going to the doll's esthetician. Are you that esthetician on Instagram? And I'm just, like, I can't even, like, go and, like... B. You can't slur your words. I can't be like, hey, bestie, <laughs> it's me. So, but anyway. I don't know if you can escape it because even when we were in wanna... Italy, I know <laughs> there wasn't a single place. No that... one knew me in Anguilla, so maybe Anguilla is the place to be. That's the okay. first time in a long time that like absolutely nobody knew who I was, and I loved every second of it. No one gave a fuck. Yeah, no one, no one knew, no one cared. They, I was just another bitch. Yeah, that's and good. I loved that because I sometimes you just want to be able to not have people know who you are and you just want to have time like I mean it's crazy like my mom and dad were like yelling at each other in a Bucky's and these girls come up to me and they're like are you the Dallas esthetician and I'm like yeah my mom's like Jerry there's a tornado <laughs> <laughs> that's yeah and I'm like I mean this is so embarrassing but you know it's just it is it's like a blessing and a, and a curse because like even like at the shows like I want to go walk the show floor and just like go see what's happening, but I can't. So I'm going to wear a full disguise next year. Like that one guy that we saw that had those like massive glasses and like the hoodie, the matching hoodie. Yeah, that's how I'm going to pull up. So Sorry. actually, no, it's not because now y'all know. I'm going to pull up <laughs> something completely different. But I just want to go like see stuff, you know, but yeah. it was a really good trip. And then we came home and unpacked and got right back to work, right back to work. I'm yeah. trying to think if we're forgetting any fun stories. I feel like we pretty much covered it all. I mean, really wasn't that interesting. No. It was just work. But yeah. it was really fun and it was a good time. We had a really good time and good vibes, good energy. I think so. I think, you know, I I know your struggles in the past with these sort of things. So I think I was a little nervous, but you didn't have a single issue. 
Yeah, I think I did really good. So tell me, what do you think was my best class I taught? Your best class to me was your last class. It was so comfy. I think because you were comfy and it wasn't a full day. Yeah. And so like you were able to... Be fun. I was funny. I made so many people laugh in that class. Yeah, you did. I love making people laugh. I say some crazy stuff. And then it's so funny because I'll go tell on myself to the show director. And I'm like, if anyone emails you saying I said that, I did. I did. But don't get mad. <laughs> You're like, I'm going to be the first one to tell you. I'll tell so on you myself. I'm like, I'm not about to get an email. I'm like, someone said that you said X, Y, Z. Yeah. That wasn't anything crazy. I just said, like, um, sacrifice your firstborn. And then I said that I had liquid Coke was my Mountain Dew. And then I said. Uh, I'm sure there were others. Everyone asked how I came up with my Instagram name. Oh, yeah. There was that. I told them the truth. <laughs> How, how did you come up with your Instagram name? Some gardening. <laughs> Some gardening. I love to garden. Come to the classes and find out. Yeah. <laughs> but it was good. It was a good time. No drama. Nope. No, no drama. drama. No mean girls. Which we love. We love. We love that. Yeah. Um, but the next show we will be at is Aesthetic Night. Oh, yeah. So I always forget that one because it's my hometown. So it's like yeah. doesn't count to me so hopefully we'll see you guys there we do have a very exciting event that'll be happening around that time we already announced it well yes it's it's out there for people to go register for yes why are we being also incognito well you haven't done official announcement yet the pod they're the besties they get to know (laughs) the tea so it's a sleigh all day with savannah event and we have skin batter air lays and Hydrin, or CO2? color science no color color science isn't coming yeah they were supposed to um co2 skin butter face reality mm-hmm. and aerolase so basically it's like all my favorite brands and how i and companies and devices like basically the whole premise of this event is like everything that i use that i handpicked that i love and how i use them together like why i use them how i get my protocols and results with combining like different products and technologies so it's a really really informative and cool thing and it's very savannah like coded so like everything's going to be like so savannah yeah and there's going to be presentations from all the different companies and live demos like on you guys who come mm-hmm. and then goodie bags goodie bags and then there's a really fun like cocktail party like vip yeah lunch is provided and there's a the tickets are discounted until july 20th i think and where can they find it tai tai I believe it is on your link tree. So if you go to her Instagram and go on Savannah's link tree, you can get all the information there and sign up. And we really hope to see you guys there because it's going to be so fun. It's at the newest hotel in Dallas, the Virgin. Mm -hmm. So pretty. And if you're already coming to Aesthetic Next, like you got to come to this. Yes. No, for sure. Because again, who doesn't, first of all, love getting free treatments done and learning? I think, you know, I'm spilling the beans. Yeah, Savannah's going to give you her tips and tricks because... Like, if you learn from the device companies and, like, the companies that sell the products, like, you know, they're not going to be as rogue as me. They I don't push the limits. I push the fucking limits yeah. to get results. And so I'm going to be really showing you guys, like, what I do and yeah. how I combine things in, like, protocols, regimens, everything. But we hope to see you guys there. Yeah. We had so much fun in Vegas, and we're looking forward to the next. Yeah, we love you guys so much, and we hope you have a sleigh day. And a good Monday. Love you guys. Bye-bye.